Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your October reading. So um, when I was uh, shuffling out the spread, I have a very vivid image for you. And what I'm seeing is uh, it's a countryside pastoral scene. Um, it looks like some type of an Asian, like Southeast Asian country. Okay, so you have, um, you know, kind of like an agrarian um, society and you have these women, they're, they're pretty young, like in their 20s, they're outside threshing uh, the, the rice stalks, okay? So they're trying to separate, um, like it's been dried outside, so they, they're trying to separate the, um, the grains of rice from the husk or whatever the, the outer covering of it. And so what they do is they thresh it or they... Um, kind of beat it against this uh, mat, this straw mat, and the heavier grains of rice falls into the mat while the lighter outer layer is dried up and the wind will just carry it away. Okay, so I'm seeing these women talking, gossiping, just having a grand old time while they're, um, you know, joining together in this sense of community, doing this chore that might seem very, very tedious and not that fun, but they're making an event out of it, they're making a spectacle out of it, and in the meantime, they're able to, you know, socialize and just, you know, have a really good time. So that's what I'm sensing. And um, the first thing that came out of that image uh, were the words about preservation, okay? Preserving what's important preserving what is going to be uh, life-giving, okay? Because uh, we think of, you know, uh, food, nourishment, and, and things like that are things, are sustenance, are, are things that are substantive, and things that can really uh, bring life into a situation, things that can really help a society or a community grow, and things that are very vital to our livelihood, okay? So I feel like you're in the process of separating the wheat from the chaff, and you're trying to figure out what do I need to keep and what can I just toss to the wind, okay? So in a material way for many of you, this is literally indicative of some type of a major process of purging, okay? Purging behaviors or things in your physical environment that are no longer good for you. Okay, so I'm sensing like, you know, um, digging through your closet and, and, and donating things to charity, cleaning up your house and figuring out that, you know, this is not something I want to bring forward with me. So I'm going to try to uh, release them and try to let them go. And hopefully somebody can make, you know, better use of uh, these items. And then I also feel like in a um, mental, spiritual way, Purging the negativity, okay? Purging the things that kind of like uh, cloak over the things that are important, okay? So, for example, I'm sensing that, you know, for many of you, uh, figuring out how to streamline your work processes, how to like connect with other people in your work environment so that you're not just, you know, uh, some worker in a some anonymous worker in a cubicle you're creating that sense of community you're reaching out you're branching out and you're in a position where there's more lighthearted energies there's more you know camaraderie between you and your coworker so whatever environment you were in before i just feel like Every man was for himself you know everyone was working but they weren't working together and then um it just seemed a little bit isolating Whereas you're coming into the month of October, there's a lot more socializing, there's a lot more camaraderie, there's a lot more of like like minded people joining together to fulfill or, you know, establish some type of um, like a common goal, working towards a common goal, working with common tasks, working with commonality. So I feel like you're connecting with a community of people that you might not have uh, been able to connect to before. So I feel like, you know, um, we all need our alone time, but I, I feel like you are breaking up or waking up from your slumber and joining that sense of community of people, okay? Um, the other thing I'm sensing as well is um, uh, the other word that came out is 
I'm, I'm seeing like seeing the importance in things okay so like I said the denser things the things that are substantive the things that are of value they sink into the mat right or they rest on the mat and the things that are frivolous the things that we really shouldn't bother or uh, give our energy to give our time to they're going to be cast away into the wind okay and so there's this process here about being carefree again throwing your cautions to the wind um, going wherever you know the winds might take you and trusting that your destination is going to be uh, an environment where you're well cared for where your needs are going to be met so that, that's what I'm seeing here and so the energy for this month I feel like there are major crossroads that you're kind of like um, walking towards okay it's like uh, everything is converging all the roads are converging and you're going to have to figure out the next big phase. And the reason why I say that is we have this card about things coming in, okay? So we have the Three of Wands. This is something that we have been waiting for a really, really long time for. And you guys are very, very patient in general. You know, you don't get anxious. You don't get restless. And even if you do, you don't let it show in your demeanor, in the way that you're interacting with other people. You, you rarely, rarely show your impatience with other people, with situations. So I feel like you have been um, patiently, diligently, you know, just minding your own business, working at your craft, building up your wealth, waiting for the next step, okay? And I feel like for many of you, this is pretty much the next step in your career. We have the Six of Wands. This is like prestige, getting recognition, being um, somebody who other people look up to and they're going to look at you they uh, want to you know pick your brains they want to ask you for advice and expertise and this is also somebody that has you know a lot of recognition they have a lot of achievement under their belt so many of you are in this position where the things that you have worked really really hard at and the things that you know you've contributed to society in some way or the things that you your skills that you carry with you the things that are of substantial value are being recognized are being harvested are being re uh, realized by other people so there's a major I feel um, Possibly three paths, two paths when it comes to your career, okay? Where do I want to go? What is um, the best option for me? I feel like many of you might be at a crossroads where you're trying to figure out, you know, what is my next move? What is the next stage? What is the next thing that I'm meant to be? And um, in, a, in a way, I feel like Piscean people are very, very spiritual in general, and you believe in signs, you believe in synchronicities, and you believe that, um, you, you believe in like the divine guiding you. So you see signs, and you see uh, patterns, and you feel like, you feel like those signs and those patterns are created in your environment just for you to guide you in the right dis um, direction to help you make the right decision and I feel like there's a lot of spiritual hits coming through where you are being divinely pointed towards the right direction and so I'm seeing some major major decisions okay this is like a brand new path opening so you can see kind of like the land clearing up and these two people, you know, they're just like, we've, we've made it, we've conquered it. Now, what is the next step? And so, there is internal conflict here. Five of Wands, okay? This is like, not so much fighting with other people. More so, fighting with yourself. Between, what is the practical route that you need to take? Versus, the route that you feel you're emotionally or mentally or some in some type of way that you can't really describe like um, intuitively drawn to so I feel like there are two paths that are opening up and you're not really sure which road to take okay one road is going to take you to the top of your career path king of wands this is someone who's made it this is someone who rules like you know a kingdom okay He's looking at all his subjects. So he's making sure that everyone is well, well fed. And so you're in an environment where things are very cushy, right? He can stay here forever. Like, um, he, he's, he exerts authority. He's well taken care of. His subjects are well taken care of. So it's a very, very comfortable, lush 
um, I want to say plentiful environment. So you're going to keep advancing, keep, keep climbing, and keep, you know, um, keep at it wherever you're at. So it's a very, very comfortable situation. On the other hand, we have another path where you're dealing with a little bit more, I want to say, instability, unpredictability. You might be in an environment where, you know, the, the work is a little bit more challenging. The work is a little bit more unpredictable. There might be a lot of, um, I feel like uh, there's a lot of risk associated with making the wrong decision. Um, not so much there isn't a right or a wrong decision with your own personal decision. But what I feel is this job you've already known it in and out okay you're already at the peak of your career this job on the other hand it's like there's a lot of risk about making the wrong choice um, making the bad decision or making the wrong choice going to real life consequences okay so I feel like this is what is really drawing you but there's a lot about you feeling like, I don't want to fail, I don't want to mess up, I don't want to do something wrong, because there are real world consequences, whereas in this job, I'm already where I need to be, I already know everything inside and out, and so while this offer is coming to you, I feel like, you know, there isn't a, uh, a right or a wrong choice. I feel almost like somebody coming in wanting to appease you, wanting to like bargain with you, wanting to barter, wanting to, you know, really keep you around. So they're making like a, a gesture. And I feel like you're in a very good position if you're, um, if you're like negotiating your salary, ne negotiating anything for the month of October, you're in a very, very good position because I feel like the other person or the other group or the other situation is coming to you, taking the initiative to make you multiple offers that you can't refuse, okay? So you're in a very good position. Money looks really, really good. And you have um, two cards. I feel that Aquarius also received, okay? So we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is a very stable, um, it, it, it's a situation that stands the test of time, okay? It's a very stable, structural type of an environment where things have been built over time, where there is like a support system, where there are networks, where there are like linkages that have been established over time over many, many, many years, and I would say decade, it's a situation that is very stable, and it, it garners or it promises a lot of financial abundance, okay? So wherever you go, there isn't a right or a wrong choice here, Pisces, and I feel like you're caught between, you know, comfort and stability. And then there's this alluring second choice here, where there's a lot of risk, there's a lot of excitement, and there's also a lot of like needing to think on your feet. And I feel like because this other situation is so dynamic, it promises a lot more prosperity and a lot more wealth down the line. Okay, so um, for those of you who are in a position where you're negotiating or you have been offered a position, this is an offer that didn't come lightly, okay? It's not like they're, you know, uh, rounding every Joe Schmo down the street and offering him a job, okay? A lot of people are vying for this position, but higher-ups, whoever is in charge, they've got you in mind, and they're willing to really keep you, so they're willing to negotiate with you on your terms. So this is a card as well about competition, so I feel like it's not... It's like you you decimated your opponents. You really, really stand out. And I feel like your diligence when it comes to your work and being responsible and being like, um, being very intuitive about um, making, you know, taking risks and things like that really pays off. And at this point, they really want you, okay? Um, I'm also feeling this energy in terms of like part, like, you know, um, likes to ask co-workers how was your weekend you know how was the game how are the kids you make the rounds and you you know you're, you're very amicable you're very likable and you know you um i feel like you're quite popular in your environment this is the month where we are going to need to be a little bit more 
action oriented okay i'm seeing all the wands here king of wands five of wands three of wands and the six of wands and the emperor which is a major firehouse okay so what i'm seeing for this month is we need to quicken the pace we need to be a lot more assertive we need to be you know a little bit more proactive about going after what we want if someone is coming in with an offer you want to be a little bit more strategic you want to bargain you want to you know negotiate in a way where it would benefit you never mind you know um, you guys are very conscientious you don't like to inconvenience people so you might say like oh is that too like modesty you know you have this sense of modesty oh is that too much I don't want to drive you know such a hard bargain and then they um, they, they can't meet it and then they never get back to me this is a month where it would be in your best interest to bargain or negotiate smartly because I feel like somebody really, really wants you for the job, for the position, and it could be work, it could be relationship. So this is the month where it is very important for you to kind of um, be very clear about what you want and you know not compromise on that okay because I feel like you're in the driver's seat and you're in a position where you can exact have exactly what you want where you can exact change and where you can you know pull the right thing towards you because everything that you've been working really hard at has substantive value and other people see that okay um, that's what I'm sensing um, I feel like further down the line, there is a position of leadership that is kind of like um, in line. And I, I want to say like, you know, two or three years, possibly in three years time. There, it's almost like um, being groomed for a position of leadership. That's what it feels like to me, being groomed. Uh, they see that you're a very sociable uh, type of a person. A lot of people, somebody might be feeling like, oh, I, I don't really want this life. I want to get out and get back into the labor market. And then I feel like there's a discussion here about finances, you know, um, for example, if you have children and you and your partner are just like, well, if you work, then who's going to take care of the kids? And then if we have to put them into childcare, we have to put them in daycare and, we, and it, it gets really expensive. So there's definitely some major calculations that you and a partner are t um, making regarding somebody returning back to the labor force wanting to work so that their skills don't get rusty, wanting more out of life, wanting a career, wanting to jumpstart some type of a career, okay? So that's what I have for you here. Um, there's also really strong expansion pregnancy discussions about delaying pregnancy as well in order to jumpstart a career or in order to see a career come to fruition before we can have further conversations about you know children I also feel like there's a, a lot of financial stability coming through so if you've kind of been struggling and you have a partner and you're now at a point where I think you and your partner are well prepared to make that major decision you know because finances is it's looking good and so you're thinking like are we ready to have children are we ready to to you know bring more people into this household okay so beautiful reading beautiful energies and I feel like this month is going to be a really really good month for blessings and a lot of expansion coming through either in love or either in the work environment and I feel like it's going to make you pleasantly happy all right so Pisces, I'm glad to uh, get a hold of you guys again and to touch bases with you guys. Thank you for still viewing my videos. I really appreciate that. So I just want to uh, give a little bit of an explanation. I had to take about six months off um, from the tarot, mainly because my main job was very, very taxing. Um, I feel like I have a good handle on it, so I'm going to try to start up the channel again. I can only commit to um, doing realistically just one set of videos for the 12 signs a month. So there won't be a mid-month, okay? There will just be a monthly. And that is all the time that I really have uh, because of my main job. Um, I appreciate you guys still hanging around. And uh, for the record, I'm no longer doing readings. But if you are interested in a reading, I've included a link in the description box below for a fellow colleague. Her name is Bridget. She is amazing. I highly recommend that you get a reading from her. Um, take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of September and I will be back um, in the month of October for November's reading. Okay, Take care. Bye-bye.